Hey guys, so today I have this Macar Jelly Poly Gel Kit and this is what we're going to use today to create a Valentine's Day set of nails. I thought no better kit to do it with than a jelly kit. So this seems like it comes with all of the standard stuff, the six poly gel colors, some dual forms, a brush, the top and base coat, and the slip solution. So a pretty basic kit. Let's go through and swatch each of these shades so we can figure out which ones we want to use and also a file. Let's just swatch them on the back of this little card. I'm not sure why this is a comfort beauty set. I don't I don't know what makes it different from normal kits. I don't know. So this is Celeste, Mauve, Lemon Chiffon, Coral, Light Slate, and last but not least, Magenta. So there are definitely a couple of really good pinks in here, which is really exciting since this is a Valentine's Day set that we're going to do. I think for sure we will have to use magenta. And this mauve doesn't quite look like purple to me. It almost looks like a really, really light pink, but then the coral doesn't really look orangey either. I think these two colors go better than these two colors. So I'm gonna use magenta and mauve out of this set. Okay, so we're only going to be doing one hand because I have something different planned for this other hand and my nails look crusty because I just took off my last set. So I am actually going to do the cuticles today just because I, I don't know, feel like it. So I'm going to take this bit on my e-file and I'm just going to lightly do it around the cuticle. I just feel like they look sort of like dry and I haven't pushed them back in a while and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that. You wanna do this on a really low setting. You don't need a lot of speed. And I want these nails to last quite a while, probably like two weeks. So I wanna make sure that my nail is properly prepped. Then same with this hand, just super lightly. And you can see it's just taking away that dead cuticle. I'm doing almost no pressure. I'm just letting the bit do the work for me. I do have some leftover gel on my nails, but I don't really care because I'm just putting more gel over it and I can't be bothered to soak my hands in some acetone right now. I just, it's cold and when you soak your hands in acetone for a while, it gets really cold and I just can't deal with that right now, okay? Then once I've done all that, I'm gonna switch the bit to a round bit right here and just sort of smooth out my cuticles. And then to brush off all of the dust and stuff, I'm gonna use this fun little bit that just ever so lightly just gets all the dust off. All right, there we go, much better. So even though this kit comes with dual forms, I'm going to be using these easy coffin tips. I just want them to be long and pointy today. So I'm gonna use these instead, and these are like this. So we'll put those on, and then we'll put the poly gel on top of them. So before I pop any of these on, I'm going to put on my dehydrator. My nails were looking a little smooth, so I'm just going over super lightly and just very, very lightly etching my actual nail. That way we can get a good grip with everything. There we go, that's it. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more dehydrator on. I'm gonna just be using this uh, cart glue to attach all of the nails. <sighs> this one was too big. I grabbed the wrong one. That's okay, I'll file it down. And there we go, all of the tips on. I accidentally put too big of a tip on this side, so I'm just going to file the sides of this. And then I'm gonna go over the tips and just lightly file 
so that they will make sure to grip to the base gel. Sometimes if you don't do that, the poly gel will separate from the tip. Not always, but sometimes that can happen. I'm gonna pour out some of the cleanser so we can get that ready. And then as far as these nails goes, I thought it would be cute for the majority of them to be this really pretty pink and then just the accent nail to be this mauve one. But I got these really, really pretty hearts that I'm going to use. So I'm gonna do it a little bit different and I am going to do this on the base layer because I think that'll make it a little bit easier. So I want these to be pink for the most part. Pretty, they're holographic too. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the base coat, if I can open it. So what I'm gonna do is get the base coat here. And then I'm gonna get the little hearts and I'm gonna push them into the base coat because I think that'll be easiest. I don't think it'll be easy doing it into the poly gel. And I'm just gonna do these all over because I think they're so cute. There we go, and then once I'm happy with that, now I'm going to cure it. Then I'm gonna take my magenta and put this over the top. You guys know I like to just squeeze it on directly and not on the spatula. So I always try to do it in the shape that I'm gonna want. So thicker up here and then thinner towards the bottom. And here we have that. I'm gonna dip my brush into the slip solution and then let's form this. I really hope that like the different color changing aspect of these hearts shows through this poly gel because they're so pretty. So far, it's not sticky at all and it's pushing around really, really easily. Sometimes just, I think because of the pigments and stuff like that, some poly gels are stickier than others, but this one so far is not sticky at all. It's pushing around super, super easily. So I don't have to do a ton of filing. I'm really taking my time with sculpting this. That way it's pretty much in its position and I just have to lightly go over it. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more because I can just see up down here being a problem. The color really does sheer down as you spread it out. Okay, so here is this nail. I'm gonna cure this now and then we will shape it up afterwards. I did my best. So to cure it goes. So there's a bird. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it that will not stop yelling. Do you hear that? So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna just do two at a time this time though for these ones. Sticking your designs in the base coat is another really easy way to do things opposed to trying to like encapsulate things. I guess this is encapsulating in one sense of the word but opposed to putting down like a layer of poly gel and then trying to put decorations and then more poly gel. I'd like to do it in the base coat because I just feel like it looks fine and it's super easy. There are those two, I'm gonna cure these. I am just using my big LED light today. By the way, I love my little mini one, but when my nails are super long, it just like doesn't work because <laughs> they stick out at the end. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the exact same thing and just sculpt out these nails. I'm hoping I can do these ones a little bit easier. The better I push it out, like right at the beginning, the easier it is usually for me.
All right, here we go. I really have not been making my poly gel super thick when I sculpt out like this. I found that it really doesn't need to be as thick as I'm always thinking. When I did my pink poly gel kit video, the big one, I sculpted those out pretty thin and I even thought they were almost too thin, but they held up totally fine. So I'm gonna sort of stick with that method or that idea. So there's that one. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this one the same. I squeeze it out like that in the shape that it should be and it just makes everything go so much quicker. All right, here we are. So for this next one, we're gonna use the mauve color. And that one, I think they're trying to make it look a little bit more purple, but it looks still looks fairly pink to me. We're gonna use these hearts instead for this one. Do you know when something's sitting right in front of you and you can't find it? I like have no idea where my base coat went. Like, oh, never mind. There we go. All right, these ones are super pretty. You can really see the hollow in these ones. I think I could use one more. Okay, I'm gonna cure these. Okay, so here's this one now. We'll just squeeze this out. I know it looks purple, but I also feel like it goes better with this one than the coral. I wanted to do something a little bit different than just the pink and red. My next set is going to be a black and red set. And so I I don't know, I just wanted to stray a little bit from the traditional like colors that go together. Okay, so that one's done. Okay, I'm gonna go and just do my pinky really quick because you guys have now seen me do the same one like three times, so. Let's just finish this up. Okay, so all of those are done. I'm going to file them up now. So I'm gonna grab my dust collector. You can see my last set in here. And then I'm going to start out with this bit right here. This is like a medium, just to chop off some of the stuff that needs to be. But I am going to wipe these down first because they are very sticky. Otherwise, filing it is like a lot harder if you don't wipe it down. All filed up now and it is rhinestone time. I'm really, really sad because I have these heart ones right here but I only have three of them and I wanted to do one on every single finger. So I think I'm probably just going to keep it to one then. <sighs> I'm really disappointed that had been cute on every single finger for the rhinestones but I guess that's not gonna happen. So what I'm gonna do is start with this finger and let's just go from there. I don't know how many fingers I'm going to rhinestone or anything, but I am going to use the gel on this one so that these rhinestones don't come up. I'm gonna put a little goop of that there as well as a right on the sides a little bit because I will carry it up there. So kind of just like that. And then I am going to put a gel top coat on top of that. Then I'll grab this one. And that's sticking in really, really well. And then I have a bunch of these little ones. I'm gonna use some, okay, I don't really have, I need to buy more of these, don't I? Cause I am running out of options as far as rhinestone size goes. Wait, would this be a time where these white rhinestones would actually look better? Okay, you know what? 
the whole point of this is, you know, I show you guys my mistakes. So I actually think I'm gonna switch it up today and not use, I put a big gob of, I'm not gonna use this one and I'm gonna take these off. Okay, so plot twist, I'm actually going to use the white sides of these and not the iridescent ones. Something about these ones, I don't know, I just usually don't really love, but I felt like they were maybe calling to me a little bit today to do something different. So no heart-shaped anything like that. So now instead I'm just gonna grab one like that and we'll just go down the line with making them a bit smaller on the sides. Okay, and there's that one. I'm gonna do that on every single finger actually, just cause I feel like it's really cute and simple but it'll add a little extra bling to like everything there. So let's cure this one and then we'll do that to every single other one. Okay, so I am going to basically just add a little glob of this nail extension gel just at the bottom. And then I'm just going to top those over with a top coat. I don't know why I always hate on these like white rhinestones all the time. I think they look good, at least on this set. Usually, I guess, I don't think that just like the white ones go because I think they look a little bit cheaper, but I think on this set that they look really nice. So here's my first set of Valentine's Day nails. I hope you guys like them. I know I've been bad in the past about doing themed sets for holidays, but this is me trying to get better. So this is my first set that I'm gonna be doing. I'll do some nice close-ups at the end, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!